Bamboo Labs sells six different model kits. There's an LED lamp, a wireless mouse, a marble run, an engine model, a jet engine model, and a triple axis tourbillon model. And I bought all of them so that you don't have to. So let's take a look at the LED lamp kit. This little baggie. Get a USB lamp. A little double sided 3M sticker and a couple screws for mounting. The two models that are meant for this kit are the Type A and the Type B lamp and they both use this little base piece that the USB just slides through. And then the light just sits in there in the base. You don't have to use any adhesive, so you don't have to use the little double-sided tape that comes with it, and you don't have to use the screws for anything, and then the cable just fits in this little notch here. And then you have a base for both those lamps. I printed them both out. Uh, type A is this cool looking pattern with all these squares projected downward. And I had a little difficulty the first go around. I came away from the base plate. Was able to stop it before it became the entire plate of spaghetti, but I had to reprint that. And so I reprinted it with a brim second go around and that worked. Uh, this is using clear PETG from Bamboo Labs, but I also wanted to try and see if I could get it a little bit shinier, which I think I got a little bit more shine out of the second one on the right. Um, and this was just increasing the print temperature from 240, which is the standard PETG profile, to 270, which is the max that they recommend in PETG on Bamboo Studios. I think you can see it more clearly in these base pieces as far as the clarity is concerned. CNC Kitchen has a very good video on PETG clarity and I'll link that in the description. I think especially on these walls here you can see just got a little bit more shine and clarity out of the one on the right which was the higher temp. And so these guys are 13.44 grams and they print in 39 minutes. This type A was 108.31 grams and printed in just shy of six hours. So five hours and 58 minutes. And then you have the type B, which has all these little fins and it printed 113.59 grams in five hours and 19 minutes. And I also put a brim on this one, not realizing that the top is fully enclosed. So if I were to do this again, I wouldn't have used a brim on this model. So that's it for the bamboo files. Um, I also designed this very simple extrusion with a revolve at the top mimicking the shape of this one, but just super simple because I wanted something that could potentially be printed uh, quite a bit faster. So this is also 101 grams, but it prints in three hours and 28 minutes uh, instead of the six hours that this other one took. On this first print, I had it set to random for the Z seam. And so you can see all those zits across the surface. And I also only put one little tab here, which made it a little bit harder to remove. So on the second go around, I made an aligned seam, which means the back has this line, but the rest of it looks a lot smoother. And I have these three tabs for pulling it back out and I have a relief for the cord. And the design intent for this was just to slide in over the light and you can just put that down on the desk and so that's captured in there now no need for a base just super straightforward and it can sit on your desk
But that's not the end of it. I also went ahead and printed this 3D emblem, the 3D logo puck with the same interface on the back where you just slide it in. There's the press fit again with the relief for the cord. And that just sits in there. And now you have a 3D logo that lights up on your desk. I did two millimeters of plastic on the top layer. Well, I guess this is the bottom layer since this printed face down against the build plate. And you get this nice textured uh, surface from the textured PEI plate and the light coming through 10 layers of PLA, the white, and then there's no bleed in the black which is the uh, black PLA from Bamboo Labs there. I hope you liked that one. I'll put all the links in the description for these models. The, uh, the main bamboo ones, and then also the ones that I created there. And I'll see you in the next one.